Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. Finally, my order from the Bath and Body Works candle day, she has arrived. I've been waiting on these candles for mad long, like who knew I should have just went to the store and picked these up? Some of these are, you know, just a little re-up situation and others, brand new. I figure we can just give it a sniff together. So if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical, so if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And don't let the size of the box fool you. I have a whole big situation on the floor right here. To be honest, this takes, this took so long, I, I kind of don't even remember what scents I got. So this should be quite an interesting video. Oh Lord. I hope you're not broken. Yep, that's that's broken. All right, <laughs> we're already off to a, um, a rough start. I have a broken candle. Um, ooh, 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 glass everywhere, no abort mission. So I picked up perf the perfect Christmas. Um, I'm gonna try to do this so glass doesn't get everywhere, but um, boom, it's right here. Damn, I can't even fucking smell it. Well. It smells delightful. It truly smells like Christmas. This has fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, and toasted marshmallow. It actually smells really, really good. It's just completely broken. I knew I heard a little rattling situation. Did they really expect this to make it through shipping? Cause I most certainly did not. <laughs> that's weird because the other candle that's in the same box came like this and this is what I was expecting. So I'm gonna pause real quick and clean up this glass cause this is not trying to get any glass on anything. I'll be back girl. There is one solo piece of glass that has fallen upon my table, which is silver. So I can't see it. Anywho, we're just gonna move on to the next candle. This is pineapple mango. I don't think I've ever had this candle before. But here's my thoughts when it comes to sales like this. I tend to at least try to max out on the candles because you can always return them no matter how long you've had the candle. Even if you burnt them, you can take them things back. And that's why I really, really like Bath and Body Works candles. Uh, so this is pineapple juice, mango, and raspberry. I'm not gonna be burning this anytime soon because it's one of those fruity, scent so this will probably be spring summer for me one of my favorite candles from bath and body works is white tea and sage i don't think this one is broken though this is my calming relaxing scent it might have been 2020 when everything shut down and i tried this candle and i was just like oh my god this smells so relaxing i'm a sucker for like a zen moment and this one gives it to me all the time. I think I picked up three of these, if I'm not mistaken. I just got all my backups because for some reason, they don't be carrying this in the store sometimes and mama needs this candle, okay? Like when I film, I try to burn this candle because I just need to be calm, I need to be relaxed. <laughs> so all of my energies can be poured out into this. All right, we got black teak wood. You know why I love this candle? This is a manly candle. Sometimes, you know, she just wants the warmth of a man and I just have to settle for a candle. So, <laughs> um, I didn't even tell y'all what's, what's in these. Like, obviously y'all can look it up, but I'm doing the work for y'all. This has rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. I feel like every man should have this candle burning in his apartment. And a woman, when she's, you know, those cold lonely nights. But the uh, white tea and sage had sparkling bergamot, white tea and fresh sage. Clue was in the name of that one. I swear it's a treasure trove of just bubble wrapped candles and I'm not happy about it. This one, white tea and jasmine. I definitely never smelt this before. Mm. It's kind of not giving the same vibe as my white tea and sage, but it's still nice. This one has white tea jasmine and bergamot so they only switched up on that one 
Nope. Yeah, you can definitely smell that jasmine. I still love white tea sage. But this is a, another pretty one. It's still relaxing. I can, I can burn this in the bathroom or the bedroom. Just really relaxes the mind. I love anything with white tea. Perfume, candles, just if you give me white tea, I'm all the way here for it. Yeah, two different vibes, completely. Like white tea and sage, you appreciate it more when it's lit. But just from candle lid sniffing, I, I kind of like this one. Yes, that's, that's cute. I always said I was gonna get this candle and I never did. This is Marshmallow Fireside. I wanted something, you know, a little bit more winter. And usually my winter candles, they're always like cranberry apple. For some reason, don't, don't ask me. Don't ask me why. This year I was like, sis, don't you dare put anything cranberry apple in your cart. Don't, don't you dare. But this is obviously marshmallow smoldering woods. If you've, if you've seen Jumanji, you understand that reference. Fire roasted vanilla crystallized amber. Yeah, this smells like marshmallows roasting by open fire. That's not how that song goes. It's not too like burnt, which is nice. It's just that nice goldeny brown. Like, okay, we got a little tan, tan marshmallow. But I've always wanted to add this one and I've always gone in store to smell it and I, for some reason I never pick it because other things just wowed me a little bit more. So I was just like, okay, this year I'm gonna do it. I don't know what's worse, that they put the bubble wrapped stuff at the bottom of the box or th that they even bubble wrapped it at all. And I have to eat my words. I did get a cranberry, <laughs> cranberry pear bellini. Something different, she's not apple. Oh, she's cute. Fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot. That's what I smell. Tart black currant. Okay, this one I'm digging. For a Christmas scent, I really like that perfect Christmas one because it just smells like, you know, pine needles and stuff. But this one, this is drunk auntie and I love it. That's my life. I'm not drunk all the time just for parties around people I know. I really like this one. I just love the packaging. It is my dream to have a white Christmas tree with blue ornaments. Like, I just wanna do it for the one time. For the one time. This is definitely a fresher um, Christmas scent, which I really do like. That's why I say it's, you know, it's the parties, it's the champagne, it's, you know, the, the spiked stuff, but it's got that fizziness to it. I really like that. You really smell the apricot that's in here. I think that's what's really pushing through. They really should have named this Cranberry and Apricot, but hey, I don't work for them. They don't work for me. Different packaging. Okay. All right, but this is one of my favorite candles and this is Hot Cocoa and Cream. This one I was introduced to during um, their Halloween candles so this used to be hot cocoa in screen and it literally smells like hot chocolate oh there's nothing like a good cup of hot cocoa and this is hot cocoa in a candle 1000 percent oh my gosh wow like i always love this one so this decadent milk chocolate Fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows. Whatever they actually put in this candle, they should just pack it up and produce it for hot cocoa and sell that shit because it smells so good. <laughs> I don't remember like it having like too much projection within the house, but I just like it in my room. You know, just that coziness. It's just like, oh, what are you drinking? What are you sipping on? You know, so that's always been a favorite of mine. There's another candle that's similar to this, hold on. I saw this one. This is cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. So it's got that cinnamon in it, obviously, and a little bit more vanilla. From the jar, I'm not all the way in love with it, but I think this is something I definitely need to burn. It's just more of a cinnamon version of this. So if this one was a little bit too chocolatey for you, this one you might wanna give it a whirl because they have that that 
a little bit of spice to it. I don't think there's any other extras in here. Decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. So take out, well, I mean, they still have cream in here. So did they take out the steamed milk and the marshmallows? Possibly, girl, I don't know. It's a cinnamon. It's not, it's definitely not as chocolatey as cocoa and cream, but I'm gonna give this one a whirl. All the new ones, I'm gonna be burning first so I can swap those out or tuck them until the spring and just, you know, do my little exchangey shame. Another masculine candle is mahogany teak wood. Needs no introduction. God damn it. That's one thing about Bath and Body Works. Like, they're kind of masculine leaning ones. It be hitting. And not all the time I wanna burn these, but it's just those, them, them nights. Sometimes those, those lonely nights, man, you just need the essence of a gentleman cola. And uh, you ain't got nobody to call, girl, so you gonna have to burn yourself a candle. But this is a very popular one amongst a lot of people. So I really like this one. Surprisingly enough, I have never smelt the intense version. I know, right? So um, yeah, I, I'm gonna rock out with this one. I'm pretty sure the intense will make my eyes roll in the back of my head and my mouth salivate, so I ain't even worried about that one. We have snowy peach berries. See, I, I try to get some, you know, some cute little winter joints. So I don't know whose decision it is to choose the boxes that you gotta rip open like a gift, but yeah. Snowy peach berry. She's a, hmm. she's a brighter sparkle, you know. Sweet peaches, tart cranberry, sugared musk. A little soft, a little, you know, light and fun. It smells like what the package looks like. It's got this pink and white and yeah, it's, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to my home. <laughs> I don't think this is a brand new um, scent. I could be wrong. I don't be knowing all the candles like that. But snowy peach berry, you know, clues in the name, peaches and berries. Ugh. Right now we're just picking out stuff. This is Tipsy Elf. Yes, this one I definitely wanted to try. Cause I was like, that sounds fun. <laughs> Here's the thing, please be good. What does that smell like? Is there cinnamon in here? Okay, nutmeg, that's what I'm. Okay, so this is Mary Vanilla Jolly Nutmeg, a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too heavy because i was like hold on what the fuck is that what, what is that so this is a candle i definitely have to burn what that rum do <laughs> okay is it gonna be kaoli rum nah it's not kaoli rum but you definitely smell that nutmeg i thought it was cinnamon or something like that you ever just like recognize it a scent once you like read it yeah mm. The more I'm sniffing this, the more I kind of like it. Yeah, I think I might burn this one tonight. I think so. Like, I feel like that one's pretty festive. You know, the snowy peach berries and okay. But Tipsy Elf, they might be on to something with that one. I feel like so far that's the most festive besides A Perfect Christmas. But Perfect Christmas, you, you was broken, so oh well. Next, we got holiday. <sighs> okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, you're broken too. I gotta come back, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah, so I'm trying not to get any glass shards on me because I have carpet and we don't want a whole situation. But this has cinnamon stick, cloves, and ground nutmeg. When I tell you this smells so bomb, I'm so sad, yo. I'm so sad this was cracked up. Cause it smells so good. This would have been like number one candle, holiday. I really hope they have this one in store. Cause I'm gonna be mad if this was an online exclusive, which I all the way hate when it's online only. But damn, this one smells good. That cinnamon and the clove and the, y'all already know those three it's a lovely spice. Oh, this is a huge disappointment, man. 
You would have been my number one, boo. Moving on. I have to be a little bit more careful when I'm opening these boxes because now I don't know what's broken. That was the first one broken in uh, cardboard. So let's check this one out. This is Winter White Woods. Again, a beautiful, beautiful packaging. I love silver and blue. Oh, something, oh, that was a childhood. It low key smells like there's some sort of pine needles in here, but it says glistening icicles, dried cedar wood bark and spiced sandalwood. It's a very, very light, like Christmas tree smell. Mm. Yeah, this smells like my, my childhood Christmas. Yeah, I don't ever remember having a real tree. I think I just spoke to my mom about that, like um, Christmas trees. And I think she said we had it one time, but I hope this burns really well because I really like the packaging. So far, like this one in cranberry peach, um, cran what is it cranberry peach? Cranberry pear bellini have my favorite packaging. And plus the top is almost like a snowflake. I love that. Mm. Yeah, they, they say that this doesn't have any pine in it, but I could bet money that there was pine in here. I like it though. It's a soft pine. It's not like, you know, ooh, Christmas tree. It's like, oh, Christmas tree. Ooh, this one out of all the masculine handles is my favorite. And I needed a re-up on this one because I think I'm, ooh, I'm pretty low on it. And plus I like the packaging with this one because it, it's a man scent, but the packaging is very femme. But this is mahogany coconut. I'm ready to get down with the get down. This one is my absolute favorite from the black teak wood to the mahogany. This mahogany with the coconut has always been my favorite. This is my rainy day, like scent of a man. <laughs> like I used to burn this all the time when I just wanted male attention and I had nobody to call. So. We grown over here. Ooh. Candles kind of moving in here. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, look at the packaging of it. It's, it's a little bit more femme, you know? It's not as hoard, you know? I like the colors of it. It's got that mauve pink and the gold, and it's cute. It goes with nothing in my bedroom, but alas, I will enjoy it, huh? And my final candle, let's hopefully end this on a good note a Christmas note at that. This is Merry Mimosa. Ooh, packaging, so pretty. Mm -mm. She's spirited. <laughs> Sparkling champagne, red apples, ice sugar crystals. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna get no apples. Hold up, I know you fucking lying. Never in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> quality check much? How many things can happen in one video? Um, <laughs> hopefully you kept count, <laughs> but this is a cute one. Like it does smell like the champagne. I'm like, yeah, I could see champagne mimosa. Nice sparkle moment. So I didn't do too bad because this is my only apple scent and then I have one cranberry scent. So technically I, I did a really good job. I'm really still upset about Holiday, yo. Holiday, if you guys have that, enjoy it in good health because that one, oh, I wish it was better, but it's fine. I have Tipsy Elf. She's gonna be burnt tonight and I can update you guys somewhere, somehow, someplace. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.